Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Super Golden Gaming Rocket League Season Challenge where Team Skywater is reigning supreme right now. Yeah! There I say, it's rainbowing su supreme. Ooh, I Ooh, like it even better. Yes. I like it even better. I say that, we have a two game win streak. Oh no, that's, that usually is destiny for us yeah. to lose one. If you can see our pattern, the last time we had a two game win streak, we had a two game, like a two -game, game streak. Game. So hopefully we take on uh, the mammoths. The, the prehistoric the moths. The prehistoric tusked moths. Uh, terrifying creature to encounter. Terrifying creature. My if you goodness. have one on your screen door, it's a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, let's see. Where are we in the right? We're fourth in okay. the rankings yeah. right so now. We have a little pad between us and. Uh, so, yeah, if, if any of the three teams above us lose the next round and we win, we will at least advance to tie them. Yeah. And, and uh, you let's know. see here. Do any of them play each other? I don't think so. Mm, Cyclones do not play this. this, this, this uh, nope, no, they are all playing arches. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Well, we shall see. Let's get going. Team Skywater. Oh, it's Stormy. Hell yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it this is. This is like our home yeah, that's advantage. <laughs> that's right. Bring it on, man. I can't help but notice that there's a dome with okay. rain but inside. But also of it. rain. It's like, do you choose the weather? All right, so Nora Longest has a question. Uh, Nora says, "Hey, brothers and DK, I have a friend. Uh, excuse me, I have a guy friend who I've heard likes me. I'm thinking about asking him out, but if he says no, I would still want to be friends. Bones! If we were to date and then break up, how would we still be friends? He is a great friend, and I don't know what to do. Please help. The question really is: Is there a way to try to date but not ruin the friendship if the relationship doesn't work? Uh, it sounds like you're already planning on breaking up, though. You know. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? Little. Right there. But uh, uh oh, uh oh, could it be? No! Oh my oh. goodness! Oh my Glorb goodness! Glorb Jay. I'm sorry. I thought I had the nice breakaway going there. I was wrong. Don't mess oh, with Jay. He's on a breakaway. That's right. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Or man. the long shot. Could it be? Did you guys see that defense? I did, I did. It was good. It was good. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man. Boing! There it is. Could it be? It, it is! is! Oh, yes. Nice follow, man. Nice there follow. There you go. You just had wet. I saw him. The oh, he defense? reversed into it. Yeah. Oh, Foamer the moth. Mm, foaming Foamer. moth. <laughs> foaming all moth right. sounds this terrifying is, to all right, you. My ball. You there we go. Day, all day, all day. <laughs> Whoop! That's there gonna give me, give me that old ricochet. Can we get the? It's gonna center itself nicely. It could it be? Could it just go? Oh, oh, just like that. Just like that. Ben, I have to say, you're playing great defense. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, I was gonna say, like, you could, you never could have pulled that off without me back there. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Bam. Oh my god, I love the slow goals of the giant T-Rex. I don't know it's if not we'll getting not old at all. The T-Rex yeah. is like a permanent. It is picture. gonna have to be really, a really good goal explosion for me to get rid of that T-Rex. That is amazing. I just love that this game has such like pop culture type things that you can yeah, do with it. Yeah, with licensing. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Oh, oh my, that was uh -oh. a good, nice uh -oh. one. Uh, Boink. A little pop. There we go. No, all I right, got so. It. Ben, do you think like there's a way to try to date a friend and then not ruin the friendship if the I, relationship doesn't work? I, I personally don't. Um, yeah, I, I do. think I think it's a it's a messy situation. And if it's somebody that you feel like is worth taking the risk to, oh no, no I have to back up into it. If it's somebody that you feel like taking the risk uh, to potentially lose the friendship to see if the relationship could be even better, um, then I think it's worth a go because. Just because I say that you guys most likely won't be friends afterwards doesn't mean that you won't be able to figure out a way. I know that Jay is actually, in fact, friends with some of his. Uh, that's true. That is true. Um, I, 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 a few of the people I dated in high school I would uh, end up eventually remaining friends with after, sure enough, like a, a period of weirdness. <coughs> yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Or it's I just can't like, expect that. Yeah. To back to normal immediately. Immediately. Right. But at the same time, I would absolutely, like, people, I would always recommend dating your friends. Uh, those, those are the people you're actually going to get along with and have, like, really good relationships with. Right. Like, chances like, are the reason why you're even asking the question is because you guys have some type of extra special, like, rapport with one another. Oh, my God. The number of times I missed oh. that shot is really starting to bug me. I uh, was like, uh, let's see. Oh, I feel like they're going to score. I'm, like, stuck in the goal over uh, here. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah, I just... Good. Just needed a little nudge. I was, I and, uh, I'm, I couldn't. That's okay. Look, there I am. And yeah, okay. 
Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. all right. Yeah. Um, Everyone had I, fun. I, we went home, and now I'm gonna play defense. I don't know that I am friends with any of my exes. Am I? I Is there anyone uh, I'm forgetting? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No. Um, um. Um. Our maybe across the street neighbor. Oh, my sixth grade girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Her. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Sure. She did. <laughs> that's. Yeah. And I would say that we are friends with the capacity of, um, if it is apparent that I am in D.C. where she lives, she might be like, hey, let me know if you're out. I'd love to say <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's not like, it's not like a, hey, let's go get dinner together yeah. while we're there. To that yeah. end, that is probably the kind of friendship you can expect with most people you knew in high school, though. That's very true. Like, yeah, like don't worry about, like, the long term, we're not going to be friends forever now kind of thing. Because, like... Uh, it's this is like such a weird thing to say, but like for the most part, if if and when you get married, like your time of having really close personal friendships with the opposite sex are probably not going to be like they were anyway. Like your significant other probably isn't going to love you hanging out and spending significant time. Not that maybe not that maybe they're not or they're not friends as well, but. It, it, my experience has been that a lot of your hanging out time goes with other couples all of a sudden. Right. What I think what it boils down to is that like most when you once you're married, I think you have many of the same friends. Like it'd be true. less you're common right. for you to have like a unique friendship with somebody. Yes. Exactly. And so if they end up being friends with both of you, then and great. great. And it'll it, that's like a, a huge factor towards Woo! making that work. Woo! Good to go. It was close. Oh, that could have been I a good. I feel like I lost wreck, all my but... magic. If, if there ever even was any. <laughs> you were in the zone last, last game, man. Oh, no! Oh, boy. <laughs> Everyone saw the same amount of panic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glad we were on the same page with that. That was terrible. Oh, no. I'm oh, not. Jay. I'm um, just, also, oh, that's uh, good defense right there. That's great defense. That's great, great defense. Great defense. Way to put it in front of the goal. <laughs> <laughs> If it's exactly where they goal, weren't expecting it. Way <laughs> faster. When they're not expecting it, that will never happen, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I agree with uh, the sentiment that it's also probably worth it, too. Um, yeah. For uh, like that, those other people you want to date. And it can be a tricky situation. Like, I get it. But uh, I think that there's the potential for a really cool relationship there. Should yeah. we... So go for it is the answer. Yeah. I'm curious, what's interesting to me is the way that uh, Nora here worded things. It's, oh, I'll have a guy be? friend who I've heard likes me. I'm thinking about asking him out. Okay, I think this is like a tale as old as time. Right. But finding out somebody likes you almost frequently will it drive... Makes, makes it more attractive. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, really? I didn't like, even hmm. know. No! Oh, no! I oh, boy. so thought I had that. It's okay. They just can't score in the next 26 seconds. Oh, I thought why, I had this. Thing. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's because of their like a, a lack of perceived risk? No, or... I, th I think I it's think... because and it, w whenever this has happened to me, or it, it was because I, it it was like very self like the reason I hadn't even considered it was like I'm not good enough to date this person anyway, and it's sure, like you found yeah. out they liked you. It was like what? No, right. I think I think like, that's exactly it makes you just it. feel very good. Nice. Yeah, like about yourself. I think right because like, and I think that's exactly it. Where it's like. You, you don't necessarily assume that this person might like you, and then you find out they do, and then That's it's right. like, oh my god, I, I wouldn't have thought of it, yeah. Right, like, I, I, I of course I would have considered you, but I, I'm not, I, I, yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, also, I just realized... I have a guy oh my god, Ben, are you just gonna ace these guys <laughs> twice in the last 20 <laughs> seconds? This is great. Uh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the magic is back. <laughs> the wording is, I have a guy friend who I've heard likes me, uh, I'm thinking about asking him out, but if he says no, I still want to be friends. Well, if he likes you, why would he say no? Yeah, no, I, yeah, right. I don't know. Yeah. Probably the other thing would maybe just be to talk to them directly. Uh, yeah. yeah. That seems like a good starting point for you. I mean, it's, I think it's totally fine to say, hey, I'm interested in dating you, but I'm worried about ruining our friendship. Right. And, like, expressing that concern is totally fine. And if anything, a really good foundation for a potential relationship. Be teens from a John Green novel. They uh, always boom. seem to, to get it, you know? <laughs> it's like, hey, I like you. I like you too. Should we date? I don't know if we can. I have this problem. Oh, okay. That seems reasonable. And then Man. it's like a little while later, maybe we should do this anyway. I think we should too. And then the bad thing happens. Right. Right. And it makes, a, makes it complicated. Also, there's probably a lot of like Robert Frost poetry 
quotes <laughs> drop in there too. Right, 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 right. You have to be <laughs> the, the, all, the, or, or a lot of Shakespeare stuff, and they're just <clears> like, <throat> yeah, it's like that one. Uh, it's like that one quote from the Tempest, and you're like, yeah, sure, everyone just casually knows the entire Tempest. Right, right yeah, yeah no, casual. Okay. Right. Let's quote that. Yeah. <laughs> Was that game one? That was game one, was Ben. Game one. Oh ben, God. we are on an unprecedented three-game win streak right now. I don't even right want to now. know that information. I would have preferred to have been out of the room when you said it. Well, it's too late. It's out there. It's out there. We're against the Dragoons. Pre-Ender Wiggins Pre, Dragons. Yeah, pre-Ender Wiggins Dragons, obviously, given their uh, losing record. <coughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, the Cyclones are playing the Rovers. We can only hope that the Rovers, who lost embarrassingly to us... Really pick it up against the Cyclones. Yes, yes. We, I mean, and, and they've been known to be a little bit of like uh, that late season upset yeah, team. Yeah. So I feel good about it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on, Dragons. The Utopia Coliseum. The Utopia at dusk. Mm. Mm. Here we, we go. We prefer rain. Yeah. But sure, we'll take the water. All right, this next question is big and long, my friends. Big and long. Oh, oh my goodness. All I'm right. Gonna, I'm going to boil it down. Here's the boiled down version. My game plan is to score before you're done reading it. Yeah, it, I it, like it. It's very frequently the case. Um, is it okay for me to ask to no! step down from my position at work for my own sake, even though it directly harms the store in terms of like leadership and shift coverage and etc.? Um, interesting. Um, is I mean, that that wasn't super long? Is there more to it? Or? No, that, that that's the boiled down version. Uh, there, there's way more to it. Essentially. Um, uh, it's a retail position. There's uh, <laughs> yes. There you go. T diagnosed, Before you finish the question, diagnosed mental illness. Uh, the question, and while the money is okay, it's not great. Stepping down and losing a dollar an hour or even two wouldn't change their family's financial situation much. Uh, brought it up with management multiple times and repeatedly gotten promises that it would be fixed, but those promises have never materialized. Um, there's nobody who can directly replace this person. Uh, okay. And. Uh, so it sounds like they're rather integral, and maybe the uh, folks running the shop are like, we we probably would love to continue to have her as long oh, as no. we can. Uh oh, uh oh. Um. Yeah. yeah. Um. <clears throat> I think this is probably something where, yeah, if you feel like there's a little bit of like a mental health uh, aspect to it involved, I would just I would just say maybe go in there and, and try to be um, a little stern with it, because like it's not worth jeopardizing that. Yeah. over it, especially yeah. if it's not going to, like, affect anything about your family's livelihood or, you know, it's like... No! It how like it did... Unnecessary. How? Absolutely. I think that, uh, I mean, for, first off, I guess, um, this person's, like, really very selfless. And uh, that's what it sounds like, is yes, that like, you, like, feel guilty for, like, like clearly whoever you're helping first. really depends on you, but you're not, like... And, like, you're integral to them, but you don't have, like, ownership stake, it doesn't sound like. Yeah. So it's like... Oh, Oof. God. Oof. That's great. Oh. No! Oh, oh, my gosh, right? Ah, uh, this is... Viper is a... He's a sneaky he's a snake. He's a sneaky snake, <laughs> Look at this. Sneaky <laughs> snake. Look, I was right... Th oh, I've just missed it, like, by half a... Hmm. Okay, okay. The other thing that this person could do, if... I, I mean, just assuming, based on what I know about them and people who I've met like this in the past... Um, the other thing you could do is offer to like be as helpful as humanly possible in the process of training uh, a replacement. Yeah, so it's like, right. mm -hmm. um, I would love to help somebody sort of like step up and take over these these things that I'm doing. <laughs> Glarb and <Mons. laughs> nice. There we go. I, th I think I probably robbed you of a goal here. No, it's okay. going I, in, I mean, but it's no problem. Punch it in. It's not like I wanted more hat tricks. Yeah. <laughs> it's you. Just gotta work a little harder for it now, bud. I think in this instance, it is perfectly fine to be selfless or self. Uh, be, selfish. Uh, selfish. That's the word I'm trying to say. Oh, the long shot. Could it go? Could it go? Mm, no. <laughs> it is. It is crazy how often you do feel like people in life are selfish, um, but. Then in situations like this, sometimes how hard it can be yeah. to be yeah. selfish. It's yeah, it's and difficult to make a decision that. Um, uh oh, that doesn't kill me. Uh, it doesn't. No one is. Um, yeah, it, it it is difficult because like it, there's a certain amount of like guilt factoring in, and you feel like you're going to be a bad person, or people are going to judge you because you're not helping anymore, or you're like letting them down. But it's like you have to take care of yourself too. And that a lot of people can forget, and you don't want to be like taken advantage of either. Um, Ooh, that was a nice 
I said that. Coming around. Coming around town. I got I got blowed up. Yeah, boom. Oh my god, man, somebody took my yellow orb of goodness right out of in front of me. It wasn't it wasn't a good feeling. Yeah, oh boy. We got we got to get Have a goal going here. Have you ever been in any kind here. of situation uh, like this at all? Uh oh. Where uh, being maybe potentially taken advantage of? Uh, not well. You know, not that's not how I was gonna word it, but oh, that, essentially that is essentially it, isn't it? Well, not necessarily. Like, I don't yeah. think that I don't think whoever the store well, owner is is looking to take advantage of them. They're just like, do you, you know? They aren't not taking advantage. So they've they've talked about how um, management refuses to take action or demote uh, or discipline one leadership member who has repeatedly caused problems for over the years. Who have uh, little confidence in anything they can do or say. Sounds like it's a very. I, this sounds like a small shop and yeah. uh, a exciting. very non-confrontational kind of boss. Who doesn't want to deal with it, but also likes their status quo. Uh, my read on it. That's exactly what it sounds yeah. like. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you know what? I feel like you sort of dealt with this, Ben. Like, you know, you had an employee leave a couple years, like a year ago, and it was like, you have a pretty niche, niche, uh, boom, nice. and the game is tied. Like, like with, um, oh, this is business. True. And it was like, it, it felt like maybe how are we going to do this without you sort of thing but like that didn't stop them from leaving and you did ultimately replace them and not and you know maybe with even better employees and uh so it's it's overcomable yeah no it, i mean that's that's a totally that's a good point so like as the employer here i know that there was a situation where yeah i had a friend of mine who had been working for me for a really long time it was like a fully staffed employee um like by that i mean you know the full nine company car health benefits salary all that type of stuff so it was like a pretty big time position and it's quite difficult to find people who are capable in the aquarium industry <laughs> in virginia in virginia yeah where it's just not that common oh no oh, no! oh, boy. oh, boy. oh, that was oh, 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 oh no oh, no! oh, oh my gosh <laughs> clear that ball oh my gosh <laughs> That was um, a roller coaster. That but, was. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh my gosh, man. Finish no. that ball. Oh. oh man. It's back at the other end of the field. Now I cannot get out of the quarter of the goal. That's my least favorite spot of the whole field. Ball's coming around. Ball's coming around. My gosh, that was from the save to the score. That was crazy. Oh, sheer glory. Oh, oh you only see this. Once. When, when, who are we even fighting at this town? I don't even know. I was going to say when Skywater plays whoever, but I forgot who we're playing, so. <laughs> the uh, oh, boy. Game of Thrones people, I don't even know. The Data Fronds, is that what you said? The Game of Thrones. The, the Game of Viper Thrones. and oh, the Hound. Yeah, right. Oh, you're right. Yeah. All right, balls moving in. Ooh, ooh. Moving oh. in. Oh, oh, oh. Rush their hopes and dreams. Rush their hopes and dreams. Osmosis. No more. No, I think I no heard way. it. I think, I think we... Do? I think we both knocked it out. That was terrible. <laughs> we should have just let bygones uh, be bygones. No way, what did no! I do? No! Do not let them score. You get out of my way, hound. You don't even know. You don't even know. Get out of the way. Mm. No. Mm. No, I don't like it. No! I really don't like it. Get the ground. Get the ground. Get the game. End the game. End the game. End the game. Oh, my yes. gosh. Team Skywater wins. Oh, my God. What a comeback. What a comeback. My heart's okay. racing. That was amazing. Oh man, what a game! What a win! Mm. What a way to win! Oh, look at that potato thing. That's amazing. Oh, nice. yeah. I'm not it gonna. It looks like a minion, it. kind of. It, oh, like it's from uh, less, portal. Less uh. amazing as a minion, but um. there we go. <laughs> so the dragons. dragons. That's what they are. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. It is like I bet it oh, is. Oh, it uh, is Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I see what they're going for. Um, no, to finish up my sentiment from before though. So I had I had an employee that had been working for me for a long time, and we had like a really good relationship. But he had sort of like a life mission thing that he needed to go on and, and do uh, with his girlfriend. And it was the same thing where it was like one of these people who I did not have a game plan for replacing them. Like sure. there there really wasn't the the backup plan for it. And honestly, it left me with a, a significant amount of anxiety. Uh, so it was one of those things where you you know. I worked really hard actually to keep keep them around, and it. So uh, yeah, it sounds like a pretty similar situation. Yeah, right? yeah. You, you, it, like yeah, whoever this is. 
Right. I tried to extend the offer. But that being said, um, it was it was venturing into the unknown, and I found a group of people that is now working for me that are wonderful, and they're doing a fantastic job. So yeah. it's like, even though you may feel like you're leaving them, um, um, is, the ter- is the phrase high and dry? It seems yeah, like low yeah, and wet. Uh, should be the right, yeah. the right one. Like high and dry, dry seems good. It's like you yeah, want to be high and like, dry. You know what? I, I would like to be above everything and not wet. That yeah. sounds great. I'd yeah. like to be in the flood. Um, yeah. You you may feel like you're leaving them low and wet, but in reality, <laughs> um, I do believe that there there will be someone who can step into your position and and hopefully do. Um, at, le- at the very least, a comparable job. There you go. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. If you have any comments or questions or need advice on anything, let us know in the towel section down below. And until next time, bye. Bye.